Hello everyone and welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am The Great Leveler and today we're checking out the latest update trailer for the absolutely phenomenal, the absolutely stunning Ghost of Tsushima and I'm hoping that this trailer will be showing us some more of the multiplayer mode that they're going to be uh, releasing, hopefully within a release date and maybe we'll be getting some more features for the main game, I don't know. Uh, so we're not going to prattle on too long before it even gets started so without further ado, let's crack on. Partially nudity. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, then again, I suppose Jin getting the hot tubs counts as partial nudity. Actually, that's full nudity, but we just don't see anything. But he's there. Uh, peachy little bum. Version 1.1. Custom gear albums. Hello. What the heck? That looks similar to what we already have, but. New Game Plus, I was hoping for... Wow, I love that was. I was hoping for a New Game Plus. I've just finished the main game myself, and... Uh, oh, I'm excited. Powerful new charms, yeah. Cool. I'm out. I'm all down with this. <laughs> oh, flaming sword. That's so much fun. And here we go, Legends. Uh, we've already done a reaction to that, but do we have... Ooh, two-player story mode. <laughs> Wait, what? So, so many questions. The outfits look absolutely fantastic. How are they going to work a photo mode into the multiplayer, though? I'm curious with that. Because it just pauses it for everyone, I presume. That must be really frustrating and an easy way to dick around with your friends. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh! Um, free update, it's October 16th! Wow, okay, that is not, not a long way off. Okay, well, we're going to do what I did last time. We're going to recheck out that trailer uh, and just pause it a little bit and I'm going to take a better look at some of these new features because obviously that was really fast. And uh, then we're going to talk about it a little bit more, but I'm really excited for this update. So I've just checked out the trailer a couple more times and I'm a little bit more familiar now with some of the upgrades that's going to come in this update and I'm really excited for them. The first thing that it uh, mentioned was custom loadouts and I, I kind of missed what it was referring to so when I watched it the second time I realised what it's referring to is as you already know you can change your armour throughout the game, each armour's got its own perks and then you can uh, use charms alongside it that will increase your offensive capabilities or your stealth, etc. Now you can ass assign certain charms to certain outfits. So let's, for example, say the uh, Samurai Clan armor, you can put all your offensive charms into that one. And then when you get the Ghost armor, you can put all your stealth ones in. And then when you switch between the armor, you don't have to go to a separate screen to change the charms. It will change them automatically for the armor, which is a great thing to implement. I personally wouldn't have thought about implementing it and now that I see it, it's actually a really great idea. Uh, the other thing whilst we're on about charms they've implemented, they sound really interesting. Uh, the one in particular that showed was Heavenly Strike and whenever you perform that movement it <laughs> increases the chance that an opponent nearby will get struck by a lightning, very reminiscent of when you first unlock that move, which was such a cool moment. So I'll be really happy to utilize that just in general combat. So uh, kudos, and I'm curious to see what other implemented charms they're gonna have with some of your like more beefed up powers like the Dance of Wrath, I think it's called. I'd be interested to see if that's got something similar. Maybe you can kill more than, you know, well, do more than three strikes, because uh, that's my favorite move. Uh, but also whilst we're about the single player game, uh, New Game Plus, I actually kind of thought that was already implemented. I've literally only recently just finished the game and I do want to start it again. So I'm really happy now to know that there's going to be a proper New Game Plus. So I'll probably wait until this update happens before I start it. I'm curious how it's going to work though. Because if I go from the very start of the game fully leveled up, then that's going to make the encounter with the Khan on the bridge uh a little bit more one-sided. Obviously, the whole point when you first fight me is that you are totally underpowered. So I, my guess, my theory for it is going to be that you don't keep all of your unlockables until you've fallen off the bridge, basically, and had that... Um, you've unlocked the open world, basically. That's my theory, because 
games like Jedi Fallen Order, for example, when you do a new game plus, you only kind of keep the cosmetics because if you unlocked all the abilities from the get-go, you'd finish the game in an hour and a half because certain things are locked until you gain these abilities. And if you get that ability from the beginning, you don't need to see you know, two-thirds of the game. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is not the same as that. So I imagine you will keep your abilities with the exceptions of obviously the longbow, the grappling hook, etc. They will be unlocked during the story as normal. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'll be curious as to how much is unlocked in New Game Plus, but I'm excited for trying it myself. Are you guys going to be uh, playing it again in New Game Plus? What are your theories on what you think is going to happen? But anyway, let's move on to the multiplayer mode. This is the thing I'm most excited for, and we got to see a little bit more now of what that's going to be involving. So what are some of the things I want to talk about? Well, uh, first off, the fact that we've got a release date, 16th of October, so I am really excited to be uh, playing that. It's a shame I haven't got any friends that have got this game. Anyway, enough sad music. Um, so, uh, but yeah... So one of the things I noticed in this, which was new, is uh, you can have spirit animals. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to work. Um, uh, there was wolves that it was showing. I don't know if you need bears, etc. Uh, are you going to be able to command them? Are they going to be a special move? I don't know. But the fact that they're spirit animals is is pretty cool. Photo mode. Uh, I don't know how that's going to implement. I imagine it'd be like Man of Medan, where as soon as one person goes into it, it pauses everyone's game. But like I mentioned, that could be... If frustrating, uh, particularly if you accidentally push the button and it pauses everyone's game. But that's by the by. We've got two multiplayer modes as well, which um, is good to know. We've got the four player survival. I don't know if that's going to be kind of waves or just A to B, but they've got a proper two player co op. It sounds like a story mode. Uh, so that's actually really interesting. I'm really excited to see a kind of story mode with this because obviously it's otherworldly, it's not st sticking to the main Ghost of Tsushima storyline uh, which is a really great idea they don't have to worry about you know putting characters in it that were in the main story and it's going to affect things like that so uh, I think that's a really good addition uh, what else was there then um, oh god the armors the freaking armors you can have in that in multiplayer look f just off the wall crazy so I'm really excited about that and I think there was some other things, but I really can't remember. And uh, my brain's getting a bit fried. So I think we've talked about all the main things, though. Uh, all the things that I'm excited for. Oh, raids. Pre-match raids. Uh, I guess that's going to be kind of like uh, PUBG, maybe, in Warzone. You know, where you, before the map loads up properly, you can just go for a raid. I don't know. Um, you know, kind of like just a short mini game. That is my guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think we've covered everything, but I am personally really excited for this and I hope you guys are at least partway excited for it. And if you are, let me know down below in the comments. Are you going to be trying out the multiplayer and what do you think to everything you've seen about it so far? And that is it for this episode. I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. It's uh, quite late when I'm recording this and I'm ready for bed. So uh, my brain's just... <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all on the next one coming soon. Bye. Hello everyone, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed what you've just seen. If you did, then let me know by hitting that like button down below. And of course, whilst you're there, why don't you leave me a comment? I will always try and make sure I respond. And of course, if you enjoy the content, there's plenty more on the channel, such as these over here. And of course, if you want to get the latest videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well. And that way you'll get the latest videos from Great Level of Gaming. Thank you. And I'll see you all on the next episode coming soon. Bye.